One of the members of MacScriptor.net asked how to use Objective-C class files in an AppleScript Objective-C project. They were specifically asking how to use a subclass of NS Window provided by Matt Pantanod of I Love Code. In his tutorial, adding a title bar accessory view to a window, Matt walks through the code demonstrating how to accomplish this task. At the end of the tutorial, he provides an Objective-C class named AV Window that you can download and include in your project. In this video, we will download Matt's class files, create a new project in Xcode, and quickly show how easy it is to use them. I'm on the I Love Code website, and this is the tutorial adding a title bar accessory view to a window. If you want to know how the code works, you should read through this tutorial. What we're going to do is go right down to the bottom of the tutorial and download the class files. So here he has a button called Source. We'll just select that. It's already downloaded, so I'm going to hide Safari. I'm going to open up Xcode and create a new project. This will be a Cocoa AppleScript application. I'll click Choose. I'll save this to the desktop, and I'll name this Accessory View. The first thing I'll do is go over to Groups and Files, toggle open the Classes. So I'll right click on the Classes group. I'll click Add, Existing Files, and we'll go to the Downloads folder. And there it is, AV Window. I'll select both the H and the M file. I'll click Add. And when the sheet comes down, you need to make sure that you select Copy Items into Destination Groups folder if needed. And then we'll click Add. And now we've added those files to our project. If we look at the interface file, you can read through the licensing information here. It's pretty flexible. Just leave that information in if you're going to use this file. And if we come down to our methods, we have two methods. We can use title bar accessory view, and that'll return the current view that we have set. And the second is set title bar accessory view with an NS view. And that's the one we're going to be using in our code. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over to our app delegate file. I'm going to add a property. And the property is going to be for our AV window class. And I'm going to set it to missing value. And the reason I'm setting it to a missing value is because I'm going to have a connection to this AV window property that I'll set in Interface Builder. We also need to add a property for our view that we're going to create. So we'll create another property. And we'll call this one pop up view. It'll be missing value as well. We'll create a handler when our pop up changes that's in our pop up view. And we'll call it pop up changed. And we're also going to create an awake from nib handler. And this is where we'll set our accessory view to our window. The code we'll put here is AV Windows set title bar accessory view, and then we'll pass in our pop up view. And when our pop up changes, we're going to want to change a text field just to show that it's working, and we'll create a property for that. And we'll just call it text field. And in our pop up changed method, We'll get the title of our pop up. So we'll say set the title. And we'll just grab sender's title. And then we'll set our text field to that value. So we'll say text field, set your string value to the title. And I need to put bars around the word title because it's a reserved word in AppleScript. We're all set with our code. Now we need to go into Interface Builder and hook everything up. So let's open up our main menu nib. And the first thing we'll do is click on our window. And we're going to go over to the Identity Inspector. And we're going to change its class to our AV Window class because we're subclassing NS Window. Next, we'll need a custom view. So I'll come down to Layouts and Views, grab a custom view, drag it over to our window. I'll double click that, open it up. I'm going to resize it just about the size of our title bar. I'm going to grab a pop up 
and drag that over into the view. And it looks a little large. So I'm going to go to the size inspector, change it from regular to small. Now we can move it down just a little bit with our arrow key. And we need to select the view and set its strut so that it'll always stay to the right hand side, the top right of the window. And now we can start hooking everything up. So I'll right click on the accessory view, pull up the inspector. I'm going to connect the window. That's our AV window. We have a pop up view. We need to connect to the custom view. We have a text field. Oh, we need to add a text field. So we'll just grab a label for a text field. And we'll connect that up. And we also have a pop up changed action. We want to connect to our pop up button. And that looks like it. So we'll save this, go back to Xcode, and build and run. And when the application launches, we can resize the window and our pop up button stays in the top right hand side. When we change the pop up, our label changes. So that's working. Overall, I'd say that's pretty easy to add class files that other people have provided. And in addition, we demonstrated subclassing as well. Now you know how to add Objective-C class files to your AppleScript Objective-C project. This is a very powerful feature of AppleScript Objective-C. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy coding.